Hello, hello. Say hi. Facebook said they're building an audience for me. <coughs> Hello. Hi, guys. I can see five people, seven people. Hi. It's a new day today. Still in Dr. Sunday Adelaide's home in Ukraine. Hello, everybody. Say hello. Hi, Kate. Don't talk, Kate. Yeah, right. <laughs> How are you? Yes, Kate, I can see that button. Hello, yes. So let me see if I can add. Oh, it's to, it's to invite people. Oh. Hello. Hi, Lucy. Sure, Sam. Hmm. What a distinctive name. Hello, Taxi. Good, good. Happy working woman. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Yes. Hi, Kemi. How are you? Kate, that button doesn't actually do anything. It adds people and I can comment. That's it. Sonira. Sonira, hi. Good morning. How are you? Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I'm in the VIP, so which is the working area. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Morata Kubo. How are you? <laughs> hola, Omo, hola, you're blessed. Oh, thank you. Oh, Sonira, thank you. You love my personality. Thank you very much. I like that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so today, um, I'm still in the house, I'm in the VIP, uh, Dr. Sunday's already working, he's been here for a while now, so um, he's getting on with his usual work, daily activity, he works every day, seven days a week, there's no rest day, and um, every day is appreciated. You know, not until I got here, let me just tell you something, I didn't want me, hello, Daniel Asenga, hello, good morning. Yes, let me just tell you something. Um, not until to, uh, when I arrived here in Ukraine in Dr. Sunday's house that um, I cannot distinct each day. When throughout my life, Friday is always my favorite day, as with many people. Um, it's like, you know, Monday to Friday you work, and then Sunday evening is like the worst day of the week because you have to go back to work. But being here, being in this environment, Every day is as it should be. It's appreciated, it's loved. You know, I can't distinct one day from the other, distinguish one day from the other. I love each day. So, and that's how we should live. We shouldn't be living saying, you know, Monday to Friday, Friday, thank God it's Friday. Thank God is every day, not just Friday. Hello, Balaji, how are you? Thank you. MJ, good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. Good morning. Bodori, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Hello. So, so that's about days and, you know, loving each day as it comes and being grateful for a lovely day. Um, so today, um, I'm just going to um, ask you, what, guy, what would you guys like to know about being here in Ukraine? Or maybe about Dr. Sunday or, you know, just my life living living here now uh, if there's something that you want to know please let me know sorry kemi good morning thank you for joining us thank you 
MJ, you're in London. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. And it's cold. <laughs> it's sunny here, but it's not cold. It's not that cold today. It's all right. The weather is not bad. Hola, Sunkomi. Hello. Kemo, how are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're all right. Hola, Hola, Shane, Dave, Femi. Hello. You want to know all. Oh, so, Kemi, what do you want to know? Tell me. Ohunen Scott, hello, thank you for joining us. What do you want to know, Kemi, or anybody else? I have a few things in mind I want to talk about. Um, a few people have been asking me about the uh, book editing. Oh, I miss you too, Kemi, thank you. The book editing and also um, how, you know, yesterday I had some people asking how to make money, how they can make money and so on and so forth. So any question you have, just let me know. Hello, Ola, how are you? Sonny Ron, hi, please can you help me on how to prepare myself for HMT? Oh, that's fantastic, I like that, yes. How to prepare yourself for HMT, okay. Right, uh, let me answer that one first. I think for HMT, you should be prepared to work at least 18 to 20 hours a day. Um, come with your mindset to learn. Um, come with your mind to, um, what's the word? Because I've said learn already, but to, to be transformed, that's it, to be transformed. Because from what I know of HMT, nobody has come to this HMT and leave the same. So... Whatever you're thinking, whatever your perspective in life, you need to come here knowing that when you come to this HMT, your life will never be the same again. And be prepared to work, to put the effort in it, because you will be asked to do a lot of things. You will be challenged. If you're not somebody that speaks in public, you'll be challenged to speak in public. You will be challenged to do things that other people wouldn't allow you to do in, in such an environment. You will be free, you'll be liberated. And if you're, not sh you, if you're not somebody that is usually free among other people that they, they don't know or um, they've never met before or they're meeting for the first time, you might feel intimidated, but don't be intimidated. Come boldly, like whatever they ask me to do and whatever um, I've been um, tasked, I will do it and I will do it with all my heart. So I think for HMC, that should be your first preparation. Be prepared to change and be prepared to grow because that's what's going to happen to you. Hello, Yemi Ade Yemo. Um, hello, Pastor Nikki. Daniel, hello. Fumi, hello. Badewa, hello. Thank you for joining us. Yes, so that's your first preparation. Be prepared to change, be prepared to develop, be prepared to grow, be prepared to be inspired. But you will put the work in it. Nobody will do it for you. I also learned that in the past with HMT, if you're not willing, you're sent back home. So if you're not willing or you don't want to do anything or you're feeling lethargic, you will be advised that maybe you should go home until you're ready. So hopefully that will not happen, but I've heard that that's happened before. So that's the first preparation. And also, if you're not somebody that reads already, I'll give you a hint. You need to start reading. You need to start reading now, and I'll suggest you read Pastor Sunday's book. So take one or two of his books. You've still got some few, a uh, couple of weeks to go. Start reading. I'll suggest you start reading um, this book because this is my favorite book and I've read this a few times. Who am I? Why am I here? Start reading this book. I think also it will prepare you to know the nature, his mindset, and how, he's, um, how he sees things. You know, you can tell from the book how someone is, uh, the author is. You, you would have um, kind of an insight into the writer's mind. So start reading this book and listening to his tapes as much as possible, you can get his um, audios and videos on YouTube and also on his blog. His YouTube is Sunday Adelaja Official. So just type in Sunday Adelaja Official on his YouTube. You see a playlist and titles of your interest. So start watching those 
videos and listening and also read a book read one at least read three of his books that will really prepare you and who am i why am i here is a good one you can also read um the nigeria the leadership problem the le leadership pro question so let me go in let me show you I think you can read that as well because being Nigerian, unless if you, if you, even if you're not Nigerian, anyone that you, any, whoever you are, Nigeria, the leadership question, you need to read this. I think reading this as well will help you to understand where it's coming from and how he likes to empower people. So please do those things. I think you'll be fine. You'll be prepared to come. Hello. Um, well, I haven't said hello to some people. I'm sorry. I was busy answering questions. Oh, who else have I known? Yemi Adeyemo, hello. Thank you for joining us. Ba Bade Bade Badewa, hello, hello. Um, Kemi, again, lots of community. Okay, I think I've said hello to everybody. Yes, so history maker training is not one to be missed. And if you know other people as well um, that have already attended, maybe you should talk to them, call them. If they're on your page, or they're your friend on Facebook, speak to them and let them talk to you how they felt and their experience. So that's how to prepare for that. That was a good question from, um, I think, who was it? I have to go back into it. Uh, I can't remember. From Shoni Ron, yes. <laughs> Someone said you should bring food or a snack. Okay, if you're particular about what you eat, then maybe you should. You know, honestly, you should, if you're particular. But you're served three times a day, and you know you serve whatever they eat here in Ukraine. They wouldn't. They don't prepare special meals, um, or maybe jollof rice or a bar, whatever. I've been here now, going eight weeks, and I haven't eaten any Nigerian food at all. And I'm surviving. Look, I'm okay. You know. So you know, it depends on you. You here for maybe five to seven days. I think I can do without Nigerian food or specific food for those days. But if you feel like you want to, then why not? not no one is going to stop you. Ajibola, hello. Um, Chibula, hello. Yes. So bring, bring whatever, bring your food if you want to. But hey, it's really your personal choice if you want to bring food. But the food, we have food available here. And I eat well. I mean, when I was living in London, I don't eat three times a day. I eat maybe once or twice a day. And here, I've been eating three times a day. So, you know, it's, the food is not bad for me to eat it three times a day. So if you can do a few days without um, worrying about your own specific um, taste, you will, you'll be okay. And you'll be eating with other people. So, yes, that's really up to you. You haven't said hello to to alone mind you chibula sorry i haven't said hello to you i'm sorry well hello kaz daramola hello uh who else so what other questions do you have that i can answer i think i've exhausted the um question on hmt unless there's something else that's specific about hmt i can answer for you so let me know so as I was saying, so this is um, another day here where uh, we usually start working from about 11, but pastor starts much earlier. Um, again, when I get up in the morning, I do like a little short reading and then start listening to uh, videos, audios um, of Pastor Sunday or maybe other inspirational speakers or um, anything that interests me just want to keep learning because that's the nature of this house of being here is that you have to continuously learn and develop yourself so if there's area that i don't know you know an example is even if i'm not reading about inspirational um uh, something to develop me or lift my spirit i might watch something that i don't know maybe there's a topic that i have problems with there was a time that we we're discussing brain and uh, i'm not quite sure which side of my brain that i function with so uh, I went on YouTube and I start researching brain sides left or right side and I know a little bit about that now just because we had a conversation and I just went back to my room and I the following morning I learned that for a couple of days to understand the significance of the side of brain that you function which is like a good um, information for me I hope you enjoyed yesterday's um, 
vlog and also um, the one that Pastor Sunday or Dr. Sunday, for those that prefers, uh, spoke about his new book. Uh, that book is, uh, like, I can't wait for that book, really, because what he spoke about, I, I just feel like it's not something that anyone has thought about. Just like with this book, Who Am I, Why Am I Here, it's about nations and, you know, the nations realizing who they are and... Um, what their purpose on earth is, what, they, what God created the nation for, an identity for the nation. Nations have an identity. It's not something I've ever thought about. And today, hello, good morning, Jake. Hello. Um, Kaz said hello again. Please, the fighting in Ukraine does, does not affect where you... Oh, no. Yes, I know. Chibula, right, okay. I know there's war in Ukraine, but you, I haven't seen anything at all or feel threatened not to go out at all. I mean, I go out maybe two, three, two, twice a week. I will go out to town. So I haven't seen anything. And I have actually been out to town on my own as well, a female. I took a taxi and I went out. So rest assured, there is no problem here that would um, affect you. Where you're coming there's no war here. There's, I know there's war on some parts of Ukraine, but it's a large country, it's a big country, and you wouldn't even know anything is going on. So rest assured, okay? So don't worry about that. Yes, so I, I wanted to ask people, right, because uh, this question, if you're not coming with questions, yes, I enjoy it. I enjoy that. I always look forward to seeing you every day. Well, ah, oh, Sonny Roy, you're so kind. Thank you. So I was going to ask this question, right? You see this book, Who Am I and Why Am I Here? Right. I, until I saw this book, it's not a question that I've ever even thought about or asked myself. And I just want to know, guys, is this something that you've thought about? Who are you? Have you thought about that? Or have you asked yourself that question? Is that something that you, um, you consider at all or you have considered in the past? Can people just like, let me know, please? Tell me, what is your thought on that book? No, well, not on the book because you don't know the content of the book, but on the title, Who Am I? Have you ever asked yourself that? So let me see. Yes, I... Uh, please, okay... So who's, come, who's going to tell me? Bola G. Peters, Amos, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Oh, it's so nice of you for sharing. Thank you very much. In Kiru, I'm in Ukraine too. It's safe here. Yes, you see, there's somebody watching right now in Kiru Ojimadu. If you read her comment, she's saying that she's in Ukraine and uh, it's fine and safe. So she's okay. So that's another person telling you that's somebody that lives here and she's lived here for so many years. So, Shonimro, you can see that, you know, somebody else confirming what I've just said. And if it's not safe, I probably won't be able to do this. So you can work it out from that, you know, so you'll be okay. No, I have not really considered it. Oh, thank you, Shonimro. That's a good one, you know, answering my question. Yes, I haven't considered that question. Who am I? Why am I here? Until I got it and read, it's mind-blowing and relevant. Yes, this is Shonimro's comment. He said, he or she, I think it's uh, he, it's a she said, Olayemi, I don't know, are you a she or he? Sorry if I'm not clear, for not being clear who you are, but it's, um, the comment here is that, no, I have not really considered it until I got it and read the book. It's mind-blowing and revolution, re a revolution. So here you go. Oh, she, Shonirong, thank you very much. You're listening to me and what it means. Yay, thank you. So she said that. She's never thought about it. And exactly how I felt. I'm like, you know, not a young lady. And I haven't thought about that. So even when it first came out, I just thought, well, you know, who am I? It didn't even resonate with me until later on. And I'm struggling with different things and, you know, struggling with my life generally. And then um, I think I had this advice. I know pastor says all the time, you know, get this book in... But I didn't pay any attention to it, as usual. I don't pay attention to most things, but I'm trying. I'm learning. I'm learning to pay attention, guys. I'm learning. So when um, I saw, when, when I later decided that, okay, fine, I need to do something, and then I got here, and the first book he gave me was, you know, read this book. You know, this book, I can't put it down. This is my third reading of it. 
it's not because I'm not getting it, it's just because it's like my eyes is just op opening, it's like the veil is coming out. I can't even believe how much empowered this book has made me feel. You know, I know that I'm in control of myself. It's not even about feeling. It's opened my eyes to the truth about life, about my responsibility in life. Thank you, Pastor Kiru. He says, no, until I started listening to Pastor Sunday. Wow, she said that she hasn't even thought of that question until she started listening to Pastor Sunday. So there we go. That's somebody else confirming. Thank you very much for being so open to share this with, with, um, with other people. So it's, it's not a shame in it. The solution is here. So if you haven't thought about it, it's not something that you, um, you've considered, then it's time to consider it. Because for me, I, I come to realize that I didn't even know who I am. I didn't know what I was um, doing on this earth. And if I don't know who I am and what I'm doing on this earth, where am I going? You know, what's the purpose of me being here? What am I doing? So everything that I've done in the past, the way that I've lived, it's just been um, almost like an automation. I have just been eating, um, feeding myself, going out, coming in, um, thinking that I'm normal, I'm a human being. But I'm not a human being if I don't know where I'm going. I am not an actual person until I know why I'm here, where I'm going, what, uh, what my goals are, set goals and achieve them. This book made me realize that. And I'm really grateful for it. I really, really, really am passionate about sharing it with everybody because... You know, uh, Pastor's written over 300 books, right? And this one particular is very close to my own heart because I don't, I don't know. You can read anything and understand whatever you want to understand. But if you don't get who you are and why you're here, what's the point? Like, what's the point of everything if you don't know who you are and why you're here? And the other thing that I found out about this book was since I started reading, I have... It's like my personality has changed. I know myself, I'm comfortable with myself, and I don't get angry. I was discussing that um, sometimes, I think it was earlier this week, I was discussing that, you know, I don't get angry anymore. I don't get angry because I feel like I'm an individual now. I'm a personality in my own right. I'm, God created me the way that I am. So nothing angers me, nothing upset me. Even if somebody did something to me, I don't get angry anymore. I just feel like, okay, you're a different person. I'm a different person. I can deal with situation. I can deal with my life. I don't get angry at myself. I don't get angry at other people. I don't even get angry at the things that um, I feel like I should know and I don't know. If As soon as I find out, I'll do the research. I feel empowered. It's like I feel like I'm in, in the position to rule my world. I'm ruling my life. Nobody is controlling it for me. And I think maybe I was getting angry before because I was thinking that I'm expected to do certain things or I'm expected to be in a certain way and I wasn't happy with myself. But this book has just turned everything around, 360 degrees. And I really want you two to experience it and just know yourself, who you are and why you're here. I can't get enough of this book and I don't think I'm even doing it justice by what I'm saying. And uh, as soon as I, I form the... Um, the know-how to share it with you. I will share it with you. I will share everything with you so that you will know and realize that you need to get this book. You can get it on Amazon. Um, you can get it on Kindle. Princess Takumbo, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? It's been a while. Oh, yeah, let me read that what some of you are saying. Um, in Kiro Jumade says, I'm 44 going 45. I started to live two years ago when I start to practice what is written in this book. Look at that. That's an amazing testimony. I mean, this is what I'm trying to say to you. You know, she's so honest and so transparent. Look at it. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. I didn't know who I am. I couldn't have done this, what I'm doing with you now, if I didn't read this book and I didn't encounter Dr. Sunday. You know, I couldn't. I couldn't. It's just something that I've, I want to do. I want to share with people. I'm an open and transparent person, but I didn't have the tool. I, I don't know how to do this. I felt like I couldn't. And now it's like, oh, you can't even stop me from talking. <laughs> I can tell you everything now. I can share my life with you because I, see, oh, I also see somebody else that is doing that. Um, so I have good examples of, you know, how to be, what to do. So this book and many of his books and also his 
tapes and uh, YouTube and his blog. His blog is sundayadelajablog.com. We'll really, really help you. So start checking them out, please. Um, how do I get the book since I'm in Nigeria, please? Okay, Chibula, what you need to do is you need to go to Okada Books. Okada, Okada.com, I believe it is. So click or search Okada on Google for Nigeria and you'll find a book in Okada, Okada and all goods bookshops. So there will be some good, good bookshops as well that um, you can purchase the book from. And if you know a bookshop near your home, tell them about the book and tell them about Pastor Sunday's um, books and literatures and, you know, materials. Maybe they could start stocking them because, you know, this is something that we need to prepare for. We need to know who we are. And also for Nigeria as well. If you're in Nigeria, you're a distributor, you are, um, you know, a librarian. Let us know so that we can get this book across to you and you can also distribute them to other people and help people to know who they are and all the other things as well to develop key values. Um, Okada Books. Yes, Nkiru is written everything down for you guys. Please check her out. Omori Sola, Miriam. How are you, darling? That's my niece. How are you? Um, the, who else? Let's read somebody else. Who would like to visit? Who would like? No, no. Okay. I would like to visit Ukraine, but... So, but a lot of visa wahala. <laughs> a lot of visa wahala. Uh... Uh, uh, uh. You know what you can do, the person that is talking about visa while and, you know, what to advise. What I would advise you is that prepare um, on time. Visa Wahala is a process, it's a back process. So once you meet the criteria and you can, meet, you can go through the process, the visa Wahala can be resolved. So it's not a big deal that, you know, you have to go through rules and regulation. Hello, TY, thank you so much for joining. So, you can, you, so that, is, that can be resolved. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to write a guest at godembassy.org. So it's guest at, get, at godembassy.org. So once you write to them, tell us about your situation and you give us ample time. I don't think you can come to this eight, current HMT, um, but you can come to subsequent ones. So um, let, us know, um, let us know your situation and then we will be able to advise in details. You know, just saying visa wahala is not really a wahala. It's really about process. And you have to follow process, rules, and regulation. And once you follow the process, you give them what they need, then you would achieve your objective. So that's not a problem at all, okay? So let's deal with that in the right way. Hello, um, who's joined us? Adeni, thank you very much for joining. Thank you so much, thank you. Bolaji Peters, I will order the book as soon as possible. I don't mind if you could send a copy to me in London. Okay, if, you want, if you're in London, it's actually cheaper and better for you to just go on Amazon, Bolaji. Bolaji, just go on Amazon and you will get a copy. Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.com, plenty of copies. You can get it electronically and you can get it... Um, you can get it electronically and you can also get it a paperback. So it's available for you on Amazon. Um, Dagala, hello, thank you for joining us. Um, thank you so much. Who else, who else, who else do I need to say hello to? So that's about the book. Well, I can't get enough of this book. So you guys, I have to apologize to you if I keep going on about it. And in, even in another vlog, I go on about this book because I actually, you know, my, my, my theory about this book is that if everybody in the world knows who they are and why they're on this earth, there wouldn't be war. Can you even imagine? That's my theory. There will be no anger, no jealousy, no hatred, no fear, nothing. Because we all know that we're created to function in a certain way. And my function may be different to yours. It's likely to be different to yours. So there will be no rivalry. There will be nothing negative. We would all be living in our own purpose, thinking that we, knowing, no, no not even thinking, knowing we are the masterpiece, there's none like us, you know? It makes so much sense to me that I just can't even, I, I can't even phantom telling you what, how much it makes so much sense. You know, you know how uh, with DNA, with science, science tells us, you know, with our DNA, we have unique DNAs. So 
why is it that we don't function in that way? That knowing that I'm not like the other person and I'm different and being confident in who I am and actually understanding my own purpose on this earth. Why is it that we don't, um, we don't do it until, until um, you know, maybe we, we fall into some sort of disaster where we're thinking, why am I here like me? Where I'm thinking, I, you know, why am I here? What's the purpose of being here? I should have known this from, you know, childhood. You know, but I didn't know anything. I just, I was just living and, you know, living my life and thinking that I'm living right. But inside, I wasn't satisfied with who I am. So definitely, please, guys, I really want you to check out this book. You know, don't just check it out. Use it as like your, you know, how Bible is to uh, Christianity and way of living and how God wants things. I think this book is to you being who you are. For you, it's, it's to you like a Bible, to your personality, to who, who you are. If I open this book to, for you, you would see. I don't think I've ever purchased any book or read any book where I've got so much notes. Can you see in the margins of the book, I've got notes everywhere. Um, look, can you see? I just can't get enough of this book. It's like the more I read, the more I have understanding, the more I have love for life, the more I have love for myself. Can you believe that? It's like the more I have love for myself. So you need to get this book. <laughs> You're doing great with this, your breakfast, breakfast chat. I'm enjoying it. Oh, thank you, Jake. Thank you so much. Where is DSA? Okay. Hope Alive. DSA is around. Is working. Uh, shall I show you what he's up to? I'm going to turn my camera around now. So, Hope Alive. Look at DSA. You see? He's always working. You know? Never uh, sit alone. Do nothing moment with him. So, there he is. So does that answer your question? Okay. So back to me now. So, so guys, oh, thank you for life for thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. So you, you've seen him now. Olori, Olori Shedden, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Uh, so is there any question that I've missed? Uh, where, okay, hold on. Let me go. Please, can I confirm? Please, can I confirm something? I have to scroll down in my... Uh, uh, hold on, guys, please. Yes, you can come to Ukraine with a British passport without a visa. Somebody's asking if you can come to Ukraine. You don't need a visa for three months, so you can come here without a visa if, you're, if you have a British passport. And if you have an American passport as well, those are the two that I know. I don't know about the rest. So you need to check out your consulate um, website and check out what the rules and regulation are depending on the country that you're going. And if you're talking about Ukraine, you can check Ukraine um, web Ukrainian website, uh, the consulate website, and you find out more information on that. But I know for sure that US and um, UK uh, passport are okay to come here without visa for a maximum of three months so 90 days yes so i hope that answers your question um yes hope life i will see you in flesh in april i can't wait to see everybody meeting new people getting to know uh new people and uh fostering new relationship is like something that i i relish in now and I appreciate so much. I used to want to hide myself and hide away, but I enjoy it so much right now. And yes, I'm looking forward to seeing you to Hope Alive. Um, really, I can't visit without visa, great. Oh, Bolaji said, no, really, I can visit without visa, great. Yes, Bolaji, please come. You know, you can visit without visa, just write to us at guest at godembassy.org, guest at God embassy the ark so that we can prepare for you you know so please do so and we will look for we're looking forward to seeing you hello julie ingoya how are you thank you for joining us again you know i'm glad that you guys are joining me i'm really enjoying this and i really just want to share everything with you share living uh here in ukraine in pastor sunday's house or dr sunday's house for those that prefer prefer the dsa family in your mentor's house i live here and i enjoy it so much so 
I just want to share it with you and also share my experience, my knowledge, and you know the impactations over the last few weeks with you. Good morning, this is my oh thank you, Nikuru. My well, I remember when you said that you can't do live videos. Look at you now, you <laughs> you're unstoppable. Yes, that's true. I had a conversation with Nikuru when I just got here and and we're talking about how um, I don't want to do hard therapy. I just got here. I didn't know that I was going to transform like this. I was just going by my biomass behavior, my biomass personality. And I was saying to Nkiru that there's no way that I can do live videos. That what would I say? What would I do? You know, I don't know what to do. I, I, I'm shy. I'm a shy person. I'm not going to do this. And you know, she's reminding me now, thank you, you know, this is why it's good to have great conversation with people and you see how much you evolve. So only a few weeks ago, not even up to two months, I was saying that I couldn't do this. And look at me, I'm unstoppable, like Inkiru said. Thank you so much, Inkiru, for reminding me that, you know, this is it. So this is also another reminder, guys, that with your life, there's nothing that you can't change. Wherever you are, whatever position you are right now, that you may feel like you're stuck or you're helpless or, you know, this is the end or maybe this is um, how things is going to be for you. No, that's not true. You know, this little example, this little reminder, a few weeks ago I was saying that there's no way I can do live videos. And this is what I'm doing now that I'm enjoying. I'm so looking forward to, it, to sharing things with you that you wouldn't even believe it. You're growing with confidence. Thank you, Sean I'm so... I, I, you know what, I just think this is like me, you know, it's like when you know who you are, you discover yourself, you can't help it, but to just be who you are, you know, you can't help yourself. When I was saying that I couldn't do this, I don't, I didn't know who I am. I don't, I didn't even know my capabilities. And yet I'm somebody that work. I have my own home. I have everything and I didn't know who I am. So you could be living, you know, but not living, you know, you could be alive or should I say, how should I say this? Uh, I'm not a philosopher, but you could be on earth, but you're not living you, and you think you're living and that's the problem. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know who I was then. So I thank God. I thank God for the opportunity to be here and to get to know myself. I know greater things are coming and you know, I'm so looking forward to everybody. Hello Galina. I'm so looking forward to everybody else developing themselves and achieving this. I really do want everybody to do great. I really, really, really do. That's like my passion. And I think that passion came from Dr. Sunday as well because he empowers us so much. He empowers me so much. And other people that I see around him that I can't help but to want to empower other people too. You know, like attracts like. So you guys liking me, enjoying my time, enjoying our time together. Really, what I also want to do is make sure that you also are happy where you are. You're true to yourself. You're being who you're supposed to be. You're living your purpose. You're living the life that you're supposed to live. Not the life that society tells you to live. Not the life that your parents tells you to live. Not the life that your environment make you live, but the life that you choose for yourself. For me, that is success. Having an objective and achieving that objective, that's success. But sometimes life just don't allow us to put a goal or an objective together, but you have to refuse and say, this is my life. I carry my body and my mind. I make my own decisions. Don't allow anybody or anything to stop you. You know, you're your own person and you're responsible for yourself. You know, I remember in church, pastor used to say when I, in London that um, when you get to heaven, you know, it doesn't matter what he's done or what he did, that everybody's going to account for, his, for themselves. And it's not even about when you get to heaven to account for yourself. It's about when you're on earth to account for yourself. Take the responsibility, have the courage to do the things that you want to do. Don't let anybody stop you. Hello, Justin Mayo. How are you? Thank you for joining us. Have the courage to do the things that you want to do. Live by your own conviction in this, in this world and know that you have the power. You can change everything. You can change everything in this world. You can, you can achieve so much. God has already put everything in you. You don't even need to pray to get what you want in life. You don't, because it's already established for you. It's already given to you. So, hello, gift, blessing, hello, thank you very much. So, this is just what I want to share. Uh, I, I'm sharing right now that please, 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 try your very best. You can listen to audios on Faith on YouTube, Sunday Adelaja Official, the YouTube, um, I think it's 
uh, it is nine is is the series the ninth series on YouTube and it has 19 videos that you can watch about identifying who you are you can watch it if you're not inclined to read the book at the moment but I would say read the book because I listened through the sessions and I didn't really know who I was until I started reading the book so my thing is that read the book you know but you might prefer to watch the videos instead which is okay as well it's a start when you read when you watch the videos then maybe that would incline you to actually get the book as well who knows so please do everything that you can to find out who you are and why you are here so has anyone got any more questions for me um before i start to round things up I would like to hear from you guys and you know if you've got any questions I would like to hear and maybe if I can answer okay there's another thing as well um, there were lots of people talking about the editors and uh, being an editor with DSA here you know DSA is written over 300 books in Russian language and with this much book um, I think that there's so much wealth of information even in you would know by now wealth of information but it's not written in English so editors are needed but the good thing about it is not just about dsa or you know achieving his objective to change to to get this book into english it's more about you i am one of the people that did one an edit of a book i volunteered to do it and i enjoyed it so much the book i edited is about opportunities and believe me i think the book actually also was one of the things that made me brave enough to ask if i can come here when I was in London. I, I think so because I read the book, I'd edited the book, it was from Google Translate to English and then I corrected the, in, the English. It took me longer than I hope it would but eventually I finished, I completed it. So I'm glad, I thank God I was able to complete it. So for those that are asking about being editors, this there's an opportunity here where you will be help. It, it's almost going to be a hand holding, teaching, training to develop your skills in editing and writing so um but it would the way he's done is that you would take a title first we would train you and after the training you would also be advised to uh, watch 40 of um dr sunday or pastor sunday whichever one you prefer again to watch his um daily broadcast or his um audio recording or uh, video recording on youtube watch at least 40 and then read three of his books of your choice and once you've done that you would have an idea how he writes you'd have an idea of his message and his language his use of language and then from there you can go through the process of actually having a title and developing and editing one of his books which in the end you know i believe about 40 percent of the people that have gone through this process are actually writing their own books their own personal book are now becoming editors or authors themselves you know with their own ideas and their own um in their own um story so this is a great opportunity it's absolutely free of charge but you have to put your time your energy your skills into this so it's not for everybody it's only for people that are determined they want to become writers they want to be able to edit books they want direction in that area I think this is definitely for those people so if you're interested in that in the book editing um, training then please write to VIP at godembassy.org so it's VIP very important person I believe that is at godembassy.org so write to us and let us know and we can support you would we'll help you um, Keep on, oh, you're moving trend. Keep on moving, my lady. Thank you very much, Gift. Thank you so much. So if you're interested in that, please, you know, this is another opportunity for you to add to your skill set. You know, if you're not somebody that edit books or, you know, inclined to write, I think it's an opportunity. I've never done it before until I volunteered and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It built my confidence. I started writing myself. I, I write short stories and um, sort of like in between poems and, you know i that's my writing writing but it developed from from doing this editing and it's not something that i did in the past it was something that i started doing when i did this editing and i enjoyed it thoroughly i learned as well while you're editing and reading the book you're also gaining information yourself 
So you go through a process of training, which should last a few weeks. And then after that couple of weeks, and then after that, you're urged to go back and watch videos and uh, read three of his book and then come back. And then you, if you if you still want to continue at that point, you can say, yes, I'm ready. I would like to take a book. And then that book will be given to you or a title will be given to you. And then you would develop it and edit it from um, and, and, and develop it to ensure that it's, uh, it's marketable, it's, that other people can understand, other people can gain from the information in that book. So, so that's about the book editing. I have spoken a lot today about things that um, are quite, you know, relevant and uh, serious. So is there anything fun that you want me to talk about? I like to have fun, you know, but at the same time, I want to have purposeful fun. So is there anything, guys, you want me to talk about or you want me to share with you before I go for this vlog? You know, well done. Thank you, Shanira. Thank you so much. Yeah, so is there anything else or you guys want to get to work? Because I should be working as well, actually. But um, I'm taking a little uh, break to do this vlog. Um, and Kira says, I'm telling. I understood that I didn't fully understand what Pastor said in his life programs until I started to write his book now. Okay, yes. You see, in Kiru, you know what? I really thank God that in Kiru is on this live um, uh, vlog today that she's watching because everything that I'm saying, she's on the other side of Ukraine. She's not even here with me, but she's like the confirmation of what I'm saying. So you can also read what Inkiru is saying. She said, I'm telling, I, and then dot, dot, dot. She said, I understood that I didn't fully understand what pastor said in his life programs until I started to write his book now. Can you imagine that? You know, this is what happens to us, all of us. It's like we listen to things, we think we understand, we think we know. Just like with the who am I and why am I here um, Pastor did the series. I listened to it. I thought, oh, this is interesting. I was getting the information, but I wasn't getting the information until I started reading the book. And now, even living in his house, it's even transformed me even further. So, this is a test, another testimony from Kiru. You really need to, if you really want to understand um, what is coming out or what is inside of this man, then you really need to maybe either join the author, um, the editor's. Um, uh, team and start to edit and start to read the book and understand the book or read the books yourself not just watch or listen to videos because you know you get far more from reading from you know ink on paper you get a lot more please I want to know can I still call you with my EE and is there free Wi-Fi there for laptop yes that's the thing so, so, so around, yes you can call with your EE but you have to use WhatsApp you know, I use WhatsApp to call everybody in London and anyone that knows I want to communicate with me, they call me via WhatsApp or by via Skype. So this is my communication channel when I talk to people while I'm here in Ukraine. I still have my number in UK, but I only use it for um, for um, those through those um, apps, which is WhatsApp and um, the Skype. Yes, you can bring your laptop, bring your devices, and there is Wi-Fi here. There's really excellent coverage of Wi-Fi. I'm using Wi-Fi right now, so you'll be fine. You know, you can get on. You can you can still communicate with people. I know it's Ukraine, but everything is good here. You know, it's not like Nigeria where <laughs> where Wi-Fi or they're asking for data every minute. Data, no Wi-Fi. Data, no. <laughs> no, it's not like that here. So you'll be fine. Okay. So bring your devices, and yes, there's Wi-Fi connection. Is huge so as many people as possible can get on it it won't affect it so you'll be fine good so back to Imperial and you know the book and her testimony read the testimony and see where her spirit is here you know Imperial is very honest and transparent and if she's saying something you know please listen to her and kind of understand where she's coming from as well she's already told you her age you know how many people tell you their age they, for some reason I don't know they don't tell you their age and also, secondly, she's telling you her testimony and her experience as well. So, you know, she's a first-hand person for you to go to. You can write to her. She's also an author. She's written four books. You want to check out her books, go on her um, on her channel or on her page, I should say. She's also got YouTube, so you can go on her channel and you can go on her page. 
as well, uh, in Kuru Ujimadu. She's an author as well and a public speaker and a life coach. So she can also help you. And this is somebody that's transparently, somebody of her caliber sharing that, you know, she didn't know this until this. You know that it's not a joke. You know that, you know, people here, when they encounter Dr. Sunday, they change, their life change and they're a different person. And they're so confident to share, to share their flaws because they know that their flaws does not, the, the, um, that these things doesn't take away from them you know sharing where you are or where you were or what you were like it doesn't take anything from you it actually empowers somebody else so look at her she's able to do that confidently without feeling like okay why should i do this you know put myself down no she's not putting herself down she's empowering you and she's empowered because she's been empowered so this is what happens to you when you encounter this man and you truly understand where it's coming from, you truly understand his writing, his thoughts, you know, you will develop yourself as well. Oh, and Kiro says, that's so sweet, my darling. No, it's the truth. So let it be said. And then, so that's what I want to share with you in this vlog. Um, I always have a lot to talk about. You know, you can see that I'm jumping from one thing to the other, but I get used to it. This is only my third day. And I'm loving it and I hope you're loving it as well. I really love to see you guys and I want to share everything with you so that you can also develop yourself, you can strengthen yourself, you can be who you're supposed to be and also to know this great. Bless you, my one. Well done. Thank you, Benga Lawa. Thank you so much. So you can develop yourself, you can be who you're supposed to be so that we can all have a fulfilled, purposeful life. I really think that this is going to make us to um to be uh, the person God is proud of you know I really do I think it's not about church it's not about religion it's just really about you functioning in your purpose and having a relationship you know having a relationship with God not having a relationship oh sister Viola how are you my darling Bless you, my sister, my wife. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, understanding your purpose, understanding who you are, where you're supposed to be. Ah, uh, I miss you too. I miss you. But, you know, I'm here. I'm happy. And I know you guys are doing well in London as well. So, don't worry. I'm doing well. You can always talk to me on Skype or on um, WhatsApp. Just be. Allah, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so, why this is your most commented on live video yeah facebook is telling me that i've got so much comments and i'm going to read all your comments if you've got questions for me put it down in the comment section so that i can reply to them i will try my best to reply this is um it's it's it's, it's the enjoyable work but it needs time everything that you do and you want to do well you have to put time in it and i'm really grateful that i have the opportunity to do this with you guys and I really want you all to benefit as well. I just don't want to be enjoying something, but not having the benefit that the people that are watching me are also growing and developing with it and, you know, increasing in knowledge, understanding and empower. I want everybody to be empowered. Dr. Sunday empowers me. I want you to be empowered as well. It's a triple effect. So what he gives me, I'm going to give you as well. I'm not going to keep anything. You know, you would have everything when he gives me, when I develop it, because somebody can give you something as well and you will refuse to develop it. I realized that a lot because I've been learning from him from last year and only now I'm starting to use those things. So, you know, when he gives it to me, because he always does, and I develop those things and I can, I will share with you. So it's the, can we say that's a deal? You know, I will share it with you and I'll share the daily living here with you, you know, so... I'm currently in Ukraine, repeating myself in Kyiv. I'm in Dr. Sunday Adelaja's home, Sunday, or Pastor Sunday Adelaja as is popularly known, home. And I'm sharing my experience here with you because it gave me permission that, you know, you can do whatever you like. And I thought, hey, you know, show people what you're doing, let them know what you're doing. And I'm doing exactly that, you know, and just sharing my experiences with you. Deal. Thank you, Sinira. Thank you very much. You're listening to me. You're really paying attention. You've got really good skills there because you're only you're the only person that says deal. So it's like when I ask the question, deal or no deal, you said deal. Well done. <laughs> that's not my sister. Thank you. So guys, um, that's it uh, for this morning. I want you all to be productive today. You know, know that you can do whatever you want to do. You can you can be. You are the CEO of your life. You are the 
authority of your life god has already done when he, he when you were conceived or even before you were conceived he knew you and gave you everything that you needed you don't need anybody's permission you just need to make your own decision you need to to have the courage to do what you need to do don't let anybody put you down today bless them even when they try to smile i know that whatever you do is you you know nobody can control you but you yourself whatever decision you make is yours whatever choices you make is yours so empower yourself do what you need to do hello david Jenny. we're just signing out shortly um keep learning and sharing queen Maywa. thank you stella thank you so much i appreciate that i will do and i will share i will most likely come back today again to share the um the later on in the day with you and if i have any more information or i have any more thoughts i will share them with you and i really want you to share your thoughts as well with me tell me what i can do you know you know while i'm here while i share what you can do while you're there as well so let's exchange wisdom knowledge you know and be our each other's keeper so here i am now maya wa Olaya, signing out please 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 can you like my page you know i've just started my page it's just mayawa or at mayawa.co please like it and i have a youtube channel as well it's mayawa m-a-y-o-w-a go to my youtube and subscribe you know i've also uploaded this on youtube but it's on facebook so you see it on facebook and you see it on um youtube so check me out i will be uploading things you know the other day i went to the peria center I'm going to upload that because I did a vlog on my way out here in Ukraine. We probably like that. Thank you, Bolaji. Thank you, Daniel, for sharing and all the other five people that shared. I appreciate you all. You're wonderful people. You know, thank you so much for the encouragement. I appreciate it. And I love you guys. I love the energy that you give me here. Thank you. Thank you, Kemi. Work more now. Now, love. See ya. See ya. Bye. I'm going to start working as well. So I'll see you guys again later today, I hope. And if I don't, I will definitely see you again today. <laughs> I wanted to say if I don't see you, I will see you. I will come back. I'll come back and tell you about my day. All right. Take care, everybody. Mwah. Love from Ukraine. Bye.